I'm Joe and it is a wet and nasty day at the Sonic in Calhoun, Georgia. And today I'm gonna check out their new Sonic Crave cheeseburger. Thank you for choosing Sonic. This is Julie. May I take your order? Can I get two Sonic Crave cheeseburgers? Yes, sir. Do you want the single or the double? Both singles. All right, I've got my Crave cheeseburgers. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry temperature test. This thing comes in at 134.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I would expect it to be a little bit hotter than that. So let's go ahead and check burger number two. Burger number two comes in at 111.7 degrees Fahrenheit. I would expect them both to be a little bit hotter than that. So I'm gonna have to conclude that more than likely these things were not cooked to order. So I'm gonna give Sonic a big fail on the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for further evaluation and a little more scrutiny. So let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my semi-adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. I just got back from the Sonic in Calhoun. I must say I was a little bit disappointed in the temperature test. That is not the experience I've had in the past. Uh, there is no reflection on the car hops. You are awesome. But whoever cooked this burger or assembled this burger needs to learn the difference between assembling to order and cooking to order. Some of us can tell the difference. The new Sonic Crave burger consists of a 100% beef patty, a slice of cheese, the secret Sonic Crave sauce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, and chopped lettuce all on a toasted bakery bun. From what I can see, this is their uh, classic cheeseburger with uh, mayonnaise and ketchup missing, replaced by their secret Crave sauce. As far as nutritional stats, I don't have any. There's none posted. Apparently Sonic doesn't think that's very important. However, I do have the stats for the classic cheeseburger, minus the uh, Crave sauce, plus the mayonnaise and the ketchup. Each one of those weigh in at 720 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. Now each one of these, and I got two of them, are singles. Each one of those will set you back $3.99 before taxes in Georgia. If you want to make it a double, that will cost you $5.59. Now it's time for the Joe's Hungry weight test. And of course, they don't bother posting any serving weights for this either. They do on their other products, but not this. So let's go ahead and get these things out of my special insulated container. The Sonic New Crave Cheeseburger number one weighs in at 10.55 ounces. Sonic Crave Cheeseburger number two weighs in at 10.00 ounces. I've posted some other burger weights up on the screen with the prices. I'll let you look at them. I know that the uh, Whopper uh, is the only thing that's really close and you can see how much it costs. I'm gonna give them a pass on the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like. Uh, we know how much it was. We know that they probably didn't cook this thing to order. However, 
only one thing will tell the story, and that is the Jealous Hungry Bite Test. So now it is Bite Test Engage. It's a very tasty sandwich. The special sauce, it's more like a, a tangy Thousand Island sauce. It adds a little bit to the sandwich, but most of the times I can't even taste it. It's just more like a background thing. It's not making me crave the sandwich. The bread seems to be toasted. It has plenty of ingredients. The tomatoes look to be relatively fresh. As far as a value for $3.99, that's about middle of the road. That's close to what you would pay for a Whopper in the same weight range. Still a filling sandwich, even though it uh, sort of falls apart a little bit. So be ready if you're eating in your car to get a lap full of onions. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my score, my score is one to 10. Nine being the best, anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience. Five and down is the slippery slope to the depths and pits of food hell. You wanna be somewhere in the middle. So let's go ahead and give this thing a number that hopefully will represent its net worth and its taste value. The special crave sauce, are really not causing me to crave anything. I'm gonna have to go with a 6.2. Uh, would have been higher if they'd uh, cooked it to order. It would have been hotter. Anyway, that's my review. If you found this interesting, useful, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next video.